Hello everybody! In this tutorial, I would like to talk about how to apply conditions and filtering in Pandas. Uh, so, as uh, the dataset, I'm going to use uh, a Kaggle uh, dataset which includes all Airbnb information uh, in New York in 2019. Uh, you can find the link in the previous uh, tutorials. Uh, so, right away, let's start. As the first step, I'm going to import pandas and then I'm reading my data set uh, using with uh, CSV. So just to give you the hint, a hint, if you don't know the data set, uh, it includes various columns such as name, house name, neighborhood area, uh, room type, price, and reviews information. So the first, um, Mm, the first thing that you can apply on your uh, data set is uh, filter some uh, information. Let's say, for example, you would like to uh, see to filter um, neighborhood group based on the specific values. Uh, so let's say in the in this data set, I would like to filter a neighborhood group just uh, Manhattan. So by just applying this, you can see the output is just true and false on a column of neighborhood group. However, if you would like to see the result of whole database filtered just uh, to have um, neighborhood group, which is Manhattan, you have to include the condition inside the bracket of the main data frame. So like this. By running this, I can see all the observation, which includes just mm, Manhattan as the neighborhood group. And as you can see in the bottom, it displayed to me that there are around 22,000 rows, which is meeting this condition. So this is like a string based condition. What happened if I would like to just mm, filter the data, just select the data based on some integer? Let's say I would like to select just the rooms which are having the price more than 300. So the same as before, I'm putting the condition in the bracket of the main data frame. And uh, there you go. Let me scroll. So here, as we can see, we are just filtering. Uh, we are selecting just the observation which are having the price more than 300, which includes uh, like, let me scroll a bit, which is including around 3,300 3, rows. Uh, there is another way also to uh, apply conditions and your data frame, which is using is in function. So, Let's say this is mm, the column that I would like to apply the filter on it, which is neighborhood group. So I'm calling after that is in function. And as the parameters, it is expecting some list of values. So in this case, I'm just uh, selecting the Manhattan neighborhood group and let's run it. And as you can see, I am seeing just the ones which is uh, which are including just Manhattan. So now it is uh, we are arriving to the point that maybe we would like to combine some conditions. So let's say I would like to find the uh, rooms which are in the neighborhood of Manhattan and they are having prices more than three hundred. So how about that? Well. In this way, you have to still put the condition inside the bracket of the main data frame, and then you can include and uh, and, para and operator between the two conditions. But be careful that you have to put the two conditions in the two parentheses, else you are going to get error. So, here is my main uh, two my main two conditions: neighborhood group is Manhattan and the price is more than 300 and there you go. 
So we can see just the neighborhood group as Manhattan and the price higher than 300. Uh, and if you would like to combine the condition using or, so in the case just one of the condition has to be met, you can put or operator between the two conditions, which you can see this one here. And there you go. So these observations are meeting one of the above two indicated conditions. Uh, so uh, if you remember is in function that I have used above uh, here it is not a combined condition but if you would like to include more um, neighborhood neighborhood group in your filtering uh, condition you just have to add extra uh, values that you would like to put as the condition so in this case I would like just to select the observation which are in the neighborhood group of Manhattan and Brooklyn. And there you go. Okay, so uh, there is another way to apply also your condition, which is using filter function. So by filter function, you can uh, filter columns and observation. So let's go to the first example that I would like to select just columns. So you have to call the filter function exactly after that, after the data frame that you have. So in this case, I would like to select three columns, which are neighborhood group, price and room type. So I'm putting them as the parameter in the filter function. And as you can see, well, I don't have the neighborhood group, which may be the problem of the spelling so let me check here uh, yes it is let me fix it and there you go we are selecting just the columns in the data frame uh, which are specified here but how about if we would like to select column based on the specific pattern so there is extra parameter in the filter filter function which is called the regex regex if you know uh, or if you have uh, some programming background you understand that uh, you remember what is regex which is a kind of function that you apply to find pattern in your string so I'm not going to go into details in this tutorial about regex, but let's say I would like to find um, the columns which include the pattern review. So there you go. I have a specified review um, as the parameter in regex, which is uh, telling uh, to the filter function, just select the columns which are having the pattern of review. So as you can see here, uh, it gives me back three columns, which are number of reviews, last review, and reviews per month, which is exactly what I needed. Or there is another way that you can select uh, also the same kind of information by specifying uh, like instead of review. So I would like to find the columns which are having uh, the review word in their uh, column name so it is telling me exactly the same kind of information so it can be differentiated in some situation however in this situation the results are same and the last example is that how about if i would like to apply the condition on my uh, observation so let's say i would like to find the rows which are um, including one as the label of the label of the data frame and here you have to specify another parameter since you would like to apply the condition on your observation on your rows not your columns there is the parameter axis that you have to specify it as zero which is telling to the filter function to find the observations and the in a specific 
find the rows which are having the one as the pattern in their label uh, label of the row so there you go as you can see the law the label of my observation uh let me scroll a bit down it's i'm going to arrive to it as you can see the level of the observation are the numbers which are kind of one to uh till the end number of the observation uh so it is just filtering the ones which are including one as the pattern there you go um yeah that's it it's a short summary on how to apply conditions and filtering on the data frame. For more tutorial, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll be back soon. Thank you.